<laughs> They're hopping over each other. Look at that mess. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I think I just may have revolutionized homesteading when it comes to raising quail. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I've been doing a little experiment here in my garage, you might say, because that's where I'm at, um, over the past few days. If, you ha if you're new to raising quail or you're thinking about raising quail, this video you're going to want to see because it's going to change your life, I guarantee it. But let me show you something real quick. All right, so you see this mess. It's the mess. It's the number one thing that YouTubers complain about when it comes to raising quail. It's the mess. Look at here. And uh, whenever I say mess, my Uncle Rico, what are you doing? My Uncle Rico <coughs> used to think, when you say mess, it's just the poop. No, what the mess is, is the feed. It's the feed. <coughs> they get in there, and they just dock it all around, and it goes everywhere. Look at that. It's everywhere. And that's just from this morning. I clean this up daily. That's from one day. Messy little things. But if you notice something in this quail cage that's not in these ones, it's my new awesome feeder I made. So, like I said, it's the mess. Whenever, if you're new to quail raising, you never raise them, you're thinking about doing it, this video, you got to see, like I said, because I'm going to show you an awesome feeder that's no mess. And uh, I'll show you this other one that I see a lot of... A lot of people making, let me get it real fast. I see a lot of people making this feeder right here. Um, and I don't know who came up with that feeder, but it probably actually would work decent, pretty decent. Definitely better than better than uh, just, just these feeders right here. Definitely better than these. But you can see um, this one would have worked a lot better if I would have made smaller holes and actually brought the holes up higher so it could be deeper right there. Um, so I didn't do it correctly, it was a test run. But with that being said, this feeder right here compared to this other feeder I made is crap. Like I, would, I won't use this. It, this works for other people, no doubt, probably with a better setup or a bigger setup than mine. So the system I came up with, um, I was just kind of walking around the yard thinking like, man, and I, I was just thinking, I was like, yeah, I, I gotta come up with a better way to feed these quail that they're not wasting any food and they got, more, uh, they got optimal space inside the cage. Um, a lot of you people suggest put a feeder on the outside. Well, I could do that, but I don't want to cut into, I don't want to cut holes into this. It probably wouldn't be that big a deal, but I just don't want to. Um, I want to keep the integrity up because it's already a cheap cage. Um, so you go start cutting on it. It might just cause some issues. Might not. But let me, let me show you this, the system I made. And you see people use these um, for chickens. They, they'll, they'll feed their chickens out in a little trough with automatic, with just a gravity fed up, we'd use these for deer um, out in the woods, a bigger one, like a four inch. Well, I thought, man, that would, I think that would work for quail. Let's take a look at it. So you can see all I did, I can, I could pour, I, I fill it directly up right here, right here in the top. I don't have to get in there or nothing. And I just put holes in there. I put a smaller hole than what I have right here, um, right in there. And there, they reach down there and they eat, no problem. And if you could see, that's been in there for three days, I think. There is not one piece of, I, that I can see, there might be a couple in there, but there's not, there's no food down there. And before, food would be everywhere. Just like right here. Just like, it'd be all, it'd be just like that, but inside the cage with this one. All they did is scooped it, they still scooped it out. Um, but like I said before, I'm done with these. It's just too bulky for the cages I got. Um, it probably would have worked if I would have had better cage, like bigger cages. But for the cage system I got, that right there is the way to go. I'm 100% convinced that feeder is going to be awesome. So what I'm going to do, um, that was just kind of like a prototype. I actually went and bought a couple more 90s, and I'm going to make one for you all um, here in just a minute. But I'm going to talk to you uh, quick. But I'm going to move my quail around. The quail are only going to be in the garage for a limited time. Um, they're getting ready to go outside. I'm not going to go show you the spot because I really haven't picked one out yet. I'm thinking my front porch over there in the, on the barn. Um, but as of right now, I'm going to move them away from that door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all my quill over on this side of the wall. Um, just so, just it's not right next to the door. Brandy don't have to walk by it every single day. I'm going into the house. I think it'd be better over on this side. So I'm gonna, I'll be moving that around. But first, before I get into all that, I'm gonna take you out here on the back porch and I'm gonna show you putting one of these figures together. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So I'm on my back porch now. This is kind of where I got my little workstation. So don't tell my wife I got stuff on the granite. <laughs> I will get in trouble. 
Uh, but anyways, I've had people say, what's that random sink in your in that uh, room? Well, it's my back porch. It's going to be screened in, um, but it's just, it's unfinished. We haven't done all this yet, but this is where I'm at. I'm on my back porch with the, uh, it's going to be a kitchen, outdoor kitchen. So there you go. Explains it. Anyways, um, I've already got my uh, pieces pre-cut. And these pieces aren't just, uh, you got to do it this way. You can, you guys can make this. In, I got the girls driving by. <laughs> oh, I love it. But you can make these any way to fit your, uh, to fit your uh, cages. This is just the way it fits my cages. These are like nine and a half inches. Uh, I'll put it together, show them to y'all real fast, and we'll go in there and put it in a cage and see how it looks. You're welcome. <laughs> is that not awesome? Whew. I have not seen, I'm not saying I'm the first to do this, but I'm just saying I haven't seen it on YouTube yet. I haven't seen anyone do this for quail. Did I just change the way uh, people feed their quail with the automatic feeder? May have. <laughs> hey, feel free to use this all you want. It, I think it's awesome. Um, I, I'm going to do a little test. I'm going to show, I'm going to leave these quail um, on this table with two automatic feeders. That one's the prototype. You can see the one I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna be make for the rest of them is that one because it's got the double double stacks. So that's just got a single. I just made that one just to see if it'd work and it worked awesome. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave this set up for a few days. Here, I'm not gonna show you the video, but I'm gonna bring this one over here side by side and leave the, uh, leave the feeders I got on that and show you guys a side by side comparison of just how well these automatic feeders are working. And they figure it out fast. Um, I figured out if uh, that other one's like a, a, a sweet 90 um, uh, PVC 40, schedule 40, whatever they call it. Um, and these ones are just straight 90s. Um, that's got a longer sweep. So it wasn't feeding as, as good, uh, good a flow as I wanted. So definitely use the, the, the regular 90s. Don't use the sweeping 90s um, because it's just a quicker, quicker uh, uh, fall. That way it'll fall right down in there. 
and make this part. Make sure you make this this part right here. You don't want it. You don't want it real long. You, from what I found out, you want it short like that. That way, when the feed the feed comes down, it's right there by the holes, and they can peck up in there and get the feed to come down. It's just a gravity gravity fed feeder. That's all it is. I mean, this is the same con this is the same concept. This feeder is it's just a gravity fed. But tell me which one looks better. Let's look at here. Which one looks better? And I think that one. I've seen people, it works, it works, no doubt about it. But the, the style I came up with, for me, is gonna work way better in these smaller cages. What do you think, that one or that one? And this one over here, that's just too bulky for the, the need I need, like I said before. And that one's just tucked back in the back like that. And I could even put it on the outside and cut some holes in the wires and they could peck through there. That wouldn't be an, uh, a problem at all. I pers personally just didn't want to cut into my cages. It probably wouldn't be a big deal. I just didn't want to do it. I think it's going to work great. And it does not take up very much room at all. That's one thing. I'll never use these in these small cages. It's just, it's just not, doesn't make sense for uh, my need. Um, so with that, with that, I'm pretty excited about this. If you can't tell, I'm excited. I actually made a gravity feeder that the quail are using and it's mess free. I have not, I've seen zero mess in two or three days I've been using the prototype over here. So that's a good thing. And I'll just continue to use that one. Um, but the thing is, I need an automatic feeder. Not only does automatic feeders make it more convenient, but if you're going out of town for a couple days and you got all your animals set up on automatic feeders and waters, that's just one thing you don't have to worry about if someone can't come over right away to check on your animals for you. If they might take them a half a day or the next day to come check on them, you know they got plenty of food and water. Um, to, to survive while you're gone and that's awesome that makes that makes my life easier because it makes my family's life easier anything that makes Brandy's life um, easier is good for me and also uh, Hayden can you just come right out here and fill these up at the top simple simple you see me fill them up it's so easy to do um, I'm recommending this style uh, feeder for quails it would even work for baby chicks if you're raising chicks um, and that's one thing that I've always took that's one thing I've always took pride in is being able to show uh, my subscribers and people who just view my videos, maybe not subscribers, um, how they can make things easier for them on the homestead. Trust me, I am one. If I, I don't have animals that are hard to take care of. I just don't. I want something that's uh, low maintenance and easy to do. That way when I'm gone for work or whatnot, my kids and my wife can take care of it and I don't have to worry about it at all. So this setup right here, this, this, shows, this shows you if you live in the city, um, if you live in a cul-de-sac where you don't have uh, a lot of land, you can raise quail in your garage if you want to. You, there's no doubt about it. And with this mess-free uh, feeder that I've made, I've made, it makes it that much easier for you. Um, I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of y'all people out there that live in the cities or, like I said, live in uh, little communities that don't have a big yard. Um, but they, you know what? I could do this in my garage, and I could do it where it's clean. Um, I, if you keep this, if you keep these clean down here i clean these out if you keep them cleaned you'll keep the flies away that's the main thing in the garage uh, when the summer and the spring start hitting the flies start coming um, so you want to keep your cages clean and just look at the difference here obviously i just moved that that's really clean look how messy they are if you don't have an automatic feeder it is a mess messy 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 so so please feel free to use this idea, share it. Share this idea with other people that you might feel um, that would be interested in this. Please share this video, get it out there so other people can start making these and make their life easier too. Y'all, thanks so much. That's all I got for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like always, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right over there. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for all the nice comments and all that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Well, I lied to you. I'm not done with the video yet. I want to show this to you. So that's the mess those quail made. Look at that. I've got them moved from over there to over here. I wasn't going to show that part, but I wanted to show you just how messy these are. And I almost knocked these over putting this carpet up behind there. I went ahead and put this extra carpet I got just behind there for right now until I get them out of the garage because i got some that's going against the wall. i got to clean that up, and I wanted to prevent that. But one thing, too, I forgot to mention, I did not glue these pieces together. That way I could have make adjustments to those holes. Um, if I thought they were too high up, I could move them down, move them down, move them down. They're just where I want them, just at a slight angle. So that's why I didn't glue those. There's no need to glue that because it's just sitting there uh, stationary. There's no liquid in there and all that. So you don't have to glue that. So with that being, with, with that, look how dirty that is. I'm gonna clean all this off and I'm gonna do an update on how messy 
those feeder are compared to those feeders in a few days.